I'm no artist, but I think it was Picasso who said, good artists copy, great artists steal. Now, not that I'm encouraging stealing. I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to start by making a new document, File New. I'll leave it on the Photoshop default, which is 7 by 5 at 72 pixels per inch. And I'll name this Bear. So I'll click OK, and I'll hit Command Plus or Control Plus to zoom in. In Photoshop CS6, if you go to Window and Actions, you can actually record your brush strokes. You'll see I've done this once before, but I'm going to delete it and start fresh. And to start fresh, I'll make a new set called Kelly. And a very key point, if I go to my panel menu, I want to allow tool recording in the action. So I'm ready to make a new action. And I'll name this Bear. And when I hit record, Photoshop isn't timing me, so I could go get coffee if I wanted to. I simply am having it watch my brush strokes. And I'll start by making a new layer. And I'll name that layer Bear. Now, I'm totally cheating. I actually have a magazine cutout of a teddy bear laid on top of my graphics tablet that I'm going to trace. It's an excellent way to learn how to do contours and shapes and textures. I'm going to switch to the mixer brush tool and I'll choose one of the new charcoal brushes. I'll click away here to get the brush presets out of my way, and I'll use my left bracket on my keyboard to make this smaller so I could do a simple, abstract outline. I'll start by tracing around the ears, and I'm simply drawing with my stylus directly on my graphics tablet. And there we have the head. I'll come along the side for the arm. I'll trace the foot, a little bit of the bottom of the bear, and the other foot. Bring it in, and now I'm tracing around the hand, and a little bit of the body. And the bear is starting to shape. I have to remember periodically to look at the screen to make sure that it's filling in nicely. And I'll shade this as I go. And now I think I'm ready to do a little bit of the nose and the mouth. And I'll color in the ears. And I'll color in the feet. I'm actually just coloring it how it looks in my magazine cutout. All right, and a little bit on the hand, and I think I'm mostly done with this bear. Oh, he could use some eyes. Now you could switch to different brush styles and paint this in further, but I just want a rough skeleton shape. And now I could start texturing or reshaping different parts to make the ears more round or get more of my artistic slant. As I said earlier, I am no artist, so I have to use the inspiration of other drawings that are already done. So I think I'm going to let it go and be happy with this rough outline of the bear. Now what you may not have noticed is since I started the recording, I can stop this now by hitting the stop button. I could come to any image. I've got one of a boy being tossed in the air, and we're going to imagine he is going for this teddy bear. There it is. I'll double click to open it up. I'll double click on Mini Bridge to collapse it, and hit Command Zero or Control Zero to fit in Window. Now if I come back to Actions, I can click on the bear action. And sometimes I have to hit play twice on this, but I'll hit play. It made the bear layer, 
and all of my artwork is now translated to this higher res image as an overlap and you could see each little paint stroke as it was being filled in. And when it's done, since I made this its own layer, I can now move or scale that bear so the boy looks like he's reaching for it. Okay, not my best work, but you guys will get the idea. I'll go to my Move tool, click on the bear layer, and drag this over, and maybe I want to use Edit, Free Transform, with my Shift key to scale it down a bit, and possibly rotate it press return or enter to accept it and now it looks like he's leaping for that little bear. So the ability to record an action of brush strokes or painting has to be turned on through the panel menu in the actions panel allow tool recording. It's a little bit more tricky if you try something like these gloves. If I open this gloves image and collapse it. When I went to paint this gloves image and record it, I'll just show you the process. Another new action, and these are Astis mittens, and I'll record. I made a new layer called glove, and I used some of the natural bristle brushes. Again, on my mixer brush tool, I like to start with the fan brush. But with this one, I actually held down Option or Alt and clicked to load the actual gloves as my surface. But it didn't load anything because Sample All Layers wasn't on. If I Option click or Alt click, now I could start painting it in. But in this case, it's not really producing the same effect because you technically can't grab snapshots of the underlying layer to use as the source. My option clicking or alt clicking isn't really getting the photo in here because I'm on a solid brush. If I turn off load brush after each shape and option click or alt click, I'm still only getting colors from the canvas, not the entire image. So while I can sample exact colors, I can't get what I want that I did here. This was a mixer brush that I'll double click to open. And you could see in this glove shot, I actually used the real texture and detail from the mittens layer underneath to draw that glove. So it gets far more complicated if you are sampling real parts of the photograph and you will get a warning if you try that in actions and turn on allow tool recording. It actually builds underpainting layers, detail layers, so it gets more complex. But the bottom line is if you're a good artist if you have a graphics tablet, you can record your own actions. I'm going to stop this recording of the Astis Mittens and I'll trash it because it's not usable the way I'd like to use it. If you are an artist and you can paint from scratch or even trace things on a graphics tablet, you can replay that at any resolution. And if I look at this initial bear and compare it with the flying image, if I hold down Command Spacebar or Control Spacebar to zoom in, you'll see this did play back at the higher resolution. So this looks a lot sharper than my original bear that I first traced. So give this a try with your own magazine cutout and your own images to see if you can build some artwork from scratch that you record and play back on other images.